Hey TV's a Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you guys today. I want to say thank you. Thank you for your patience. I know I'm getting this video out late, but Psychic Bob has had a full day of private psychic readings. And I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to my private readings. If you're new here, I am a full-time psychic medium. And if you'd like to get on my schedule for a full private reading, uh, you can do that by writing to me at readings at robert-hickman.com. Just send me an email, put private reading in the, the request line or the title line and send me your phone number and your contact information and we'll call you and get you on the schedule okay uh, my private readings are an hour long and in your private reading we're going to cover a lot of stuff we cover your past your present your future i'm going to identify your spirit guides we're going to talk about your past lives we're going to look at your life theme and also answer any questions that you have so i cover a lot of information and I would enjoy the chance to do a private reading for you. So give me a call. We still have a few spots open on the weekend, and I'm sure we can get you in, okay? So definitely reach out to me. We'll, we'll get back to you. Uh, make sure if you can include your phone number and your email. That makes it quicker for us to get you on the schedule, okay? You guys are the best. Well, I tell you, here it is. It's Zodiac Thursday. And, you know, even though it's late, the energy of the Zodiac is still influencing us today. Um, right now, our sun, our big sun, is in the sign of Taurus, which is an earth sign. That's a good sign. This morning, our sun, early this morning, was in the sign of Leo. But about 5 a.m., it moved over to the sign of Virgo, which is also an earth sign. So having an double earth sign between our sun and moon is going to bring more stability to the day. Um, and this is important because really one of the challenges that we have right now is that today our moon is square Mars. Square means that it, in the zodiac it's at a 90 degree angle to, to each planet is to each other. And that square aspect means there are challenges. It means the negative aspects of of the planet come out. Now, Mars is a tricky planet in the zodiac, and I'm going to talk about that today because Mars is a fire planet, and Mars rules, for example, the sign of Aries. It also rules Leo. Now, Now, in its favorable aspect, Mars gives power to people. It makes them shine. So like Leo, it's a great performer. That Martian energy brings inspiration. For Aries, Mars rules that sign. It gives a lot of power to break through. And so the glamorous, powerful people, the, the leaders, a lot of them are influenced by that Martian energy. But in its negative aspect, Mars can be challenging. And today is one of those days where that trick, that energy is a little tricky with Mars because Mars today was square the moon, which means it brings out that negative aspect. In the negative aspect, Mars brings out hostility and aggression. And so for the rest of this day and even into tomorrow, I would encourage you to be very careful with your words, speak slowly, try to avoid arguments in argumentative people because when Mars is in its negative aspect, things can really get out of hand and hostility even could get so extreme as to people to have physical fights. And I'll tell you, in that Martian, when I've seen negative Martian influence, I've literally seen some of the most peaceful, passive people go on an aggressive stance that would even shock you. So today we want to really think about pacifism, peace, trying to stay out of the fray. Now, luckily, as I said, our sun is in Taurus, and with our moon in Virgo, that earth energy will balance some of that out. And, you know, I was looking at tomorrow, Friday. Luckily, our moon uh, is also still in Virgo, um, and our sun is trying our moon, which means that your inner light will be illumined as well as your outer world. So tomorrow has a more favorable aspect. I don't see any, what I would say, aggressive um energies going forward so today as we end the day go into the night try to again remember that stay out of that tomorrow as the sun rises all the energy gets on a sharper sharper place now tomorrow our moon is also trying uh pluto which means it's an excellent day to really focus on long-term goals you'll have a lot of clarity of vision tomorrow because as i said our sun is trying our moon 
and uh, with that Virgo energy and the Taurus sun, we're going to really be able to move projects forward. So Friday is a good day to kind of get things back on track. If today you've been feeling things are out of sorts, you've been trying to communicate and you feel like people are aggressive and you're not getting anywhere, just retire. Today is probably a better day to call it an early day to quit. Go home, chillax, and tomorrow you can revisit everything and you'll have the energy and the power to make it all go, okay? So remember this, whenever Mars is in its negative aspect, you've got to be doubly careful, especially with your words, because it's real easy for things to get misinterpreted. Now, as you know, we were talking about Mercury has been in its retrograde pattern, and I don't know if it went direct. I have to check that, but I think Mercury just went direct or is about to go direct here. Um, I don't have my Mercury chart, but the thing is, if we have a double negative, a Mercury retrograde and a negative Martian aspect, that can really mess up a business deal. So again, take things slow. I think from Friday forward, everything from what I can see looks much more stable, much more solid, much more peaceful. Okay, so there you go. I just want to touch in on this. Psychic Bob is, you know, as I said, I'm booked up with private readings. So unfortunately, I have to keep this video short. But Psychic Bob did not want to forget you guys. I love all of you. And I'm so honored to be here. The next few days for me are going to be a little crazy because I'm having literally hundreds of calls coming in. Uh, Lady Angela is working on scheduling to get you on schedule. So you will be hearing from her if you sent me a message or tried to reach me through phone, um, she is going to get back to you, so not to worry, okay? But I did want to come here and again touch in on these little influences. You know, the zodiac um, is really part of our day, and if we can just stop and attune to the stars, we'll get wisdom and insight. And you know, it's like I always say, and I really mean it, if you're at a time in your life where you feel overwhelmed, you feel anxious, don't give in to despair. Just pause, look to the stars. From the stars come all wisdom and knowledge. The zodiac above us is guiding us and blessing us. Each day the sun rises and it brings with it new opportunities. And as the stars move through their patterns, we also receive a new blessing each day. So keep faith, hope, and love in your heart and know that the stars are our allies on the journey. They don't control us nor compel us, but guide us gently. So let their wisdom into your life and you will be blessed. Well, guys, you are the best. Thank you for being here with me today. Thanks for your patience as I work through my busy, busy reading schedule. And, you know, um, thanks for, for just loving me and being part of Spirit Channel. You guys are the best. I love you. I send you my blessings. Listen, tell me in the box below, how was your day? Uh, did that Martian influence create zaniness or did the earth energy balance it out? I'll be interested to hear about your day. So tell me about that. And if you're new here and I don't know who you are and you've never told me, Tell me what your zodiac sign is. I'd love to find out more about you. You guys are the best. Thanks for being here. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Friday for UFO Friday. Uh, may get that a little late tomorrow because I have a very busy day, but uh, we'll touch in with you and we'll get something out. So check you back here tomorrow for UFA, UFO Friday. That's hard to say. And until then, may you blessed be.